What is up, FIFA Carpenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, just drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, this is what we have. Esports again has delayed the release of this, but here it is finally. We have Team of the Season Mauro Jr. And this card, my lord, this card is looking sensational. He is Brazilian, plays in the Eurodiv and plays for PSV. He has previously played for uh, Desportivo Brasil where he did four appearances. For PSV, he's done 59 appearances and he was also on loan uh, to Heracles Almelo for 24 and he did 24 appearances uh, for the club. Uh, this card is looking sensational. He starts at a height of five foot seven. Of course, the work rates are sensational. High, high. I can tell you where I see this was this card already. I see this card as a CM. I see this card as a CM, a uh, attacking and uh, defensive oriented CM, right? The high, high is something you love to see in the midfield. He supports the attack, supports the defense. He has four-star skill when it comes to the dribbling and three-star skill when it comes to the shooting. So, of course, you want to limit uh, playing this guy uh, up front. He's not a cam. He's not a winger. Do not try and, and score that much with him. Of course, looking at his 76 shooting as well and his three-star weak foot. He is left-footed, so playing him on as a left CM, that could help you a, a, a lot, right? Um Let's move on to the attributes, the play attributes. The pace is sensational. I think 95 plus everywhere is perfect enough. You honestly don't need to touch that, except if you want to put a shadow on him and really, really boost those defending stats as well. Moving on to the shooting. The shooting is okay. The shooting is okay. The attack positioning of 78, 72 finishing, uh, 80 shot power, uh, 81 long shot, and 76 long uh, volleys. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not somebody who you want to see in front of the goal. But when he is in front of the goal, he's not going to start having a full-blown crisis. He is most probably going to uh, score, I would say, 25% of the time. If he's in these high uh, uh, high opportunity, high chances uh, position, he is going to score. The passing is a very good highlight on this card. He has 94 vision. You combine that with the 91 uh, short, pa short pass and the 80 long pass, that is sensational. This guy is also a free kick Taker, 91 for free kick accuracy and 93 for the curve. This guy is going to be somebody who you can put as a free kick taker. The dribbling is sensational, maravilloso, absolutely sublime. 97 uh, agility, 90 balance, 87 reaction, 92 ball control, 91 dribbling, 85 composure, and he's also lean body type. Sensational stuff. This guy's going to be a tremendous CM, and I will be completing this card without a shadow of a doubt. We move on to the defending, and this card can also defend. He has 87 interception, 74 uh, heading accuracy. He's not going to be a header. He's not going to be a, a threat in the box either to defend or to score. Not at all, because the jumping is also 85. He's not going to be that, but that's okay. 80s for the defending uh, awareness, 80s for the stand tackling, 70 for the slide tackling. I definitely see a shadow on this card. This is the only thing I see on this card. I wouldn't boost the shooting because he's not going to be a shooter, right? He's not going to be a shooter, but I will definitely, definitely boost uh, the defending as well so that he can defend a lot more. The physicality of, uh, of 84 overall, 95 stamina. He's going to play the entire game, 75 strength, sensational uh, stuff for the strength and aggression of 94. He's going to be a little bit of a pit bull, a little bit of a pit bull across the pitch. Looking at the player trades, he has flair and outside the foot shot. He has one out of the three most important things you want to see for somebody who's going to go high, uh, which is the outside foot shot. He does have that here. Looking at what you, knew, you need to do to complete this, it's pretty simple. You will have to play eight games in total. And I would suggest playing those eight games on professional difficulty. I know that there are some, some challenges in here that you can do in semi-professional, but do it in professional. It's pretty easy. You need to score using a Brazilian player in eight wins, so do that. You need to assist with the defender in three separate matches on semi-pro, but make sure you just do that on professional. And you have to have at least five LDV players for uh, in your squad. You need to score two goals in uh, using LDV players in two separate matches, and you need to score using... Uh, and sorry, in three separate squad uh, battle uh, games on uh, professional difficulty with four star skill move players. And that's easy, right? Get some Brazilians. Brazilians always have lots and lots of skill and flair. So you should be able to do that. Boys, This are these were my thoughts on this wonderful card. 
card, uh, a wonderful player by the name of Mauro Jr. Absolutely completed without the shadow of the doubt. The Lynx, uh, because he's Brazilian, the Lynx because he plays in the Eurodiv, and we have gotten some good cards in the Eurodiv, and more are to come. So go ahead and complete this without a shadow of the doubt. This was your FIFA commenter coming to you with a player review of Mauro Jr. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch every single one of you very shortly for another player review. Peace out.